What up, y'all? It's been a minute. I know. I, uh... I gotta want to touch up on a few things real quick. Um, of course, I'm aware of the uh, whole Young Dolph tragedy that happened uh, earlier this week. First off, my thoughts and prayers go out to his uh, his family, especially his wife and kids, because I know he was like a young father of like, what was it? One or two, I think. So, and it sucks with the fact that you have a young child that's so very young, like an either in the toddler stage or something like that and for that for them for them kids to grow up without a father it really sticks in your mind and it does sting so trust me i know that experience firsthand you know like for a guy like myself that had to, that didn't even know my father very much because he was never around and then with the fact that he's gone like I can reason it with that because it does have an impact in your life. And that's the reason why children need fathers in their lives to guide them through, to teach them right from wrong. And they always play an important part in their child's life and how they're going to grow up to be. You know what I'm saying? That's why we need fathers in the homes. Seriously. And another thing. <sighs> another rapper being killed by gunfire. Possibly caught slacking. Now look, all that out the way. Um, I never really listened to Young Dolph's music. I really don't know him like that. I did hear like a, a few snippets of one of his joints, and I was like, um, Nah, I'm good. One my cup of tea. He is a, a native of Memphis, Tennessee. Stick true to the hood. Kind of reminds me of Nipsey Hussle in a way, like you know. Never forget who you are and never leave the hood for greener pastures and whatnot, all that bullshit, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I kind of really wasn't into his music like that. I never really listened to him. That's the reason why I couldn't, like, you know, get into the hype train like that. I mean, if he does impact you in a certain way, then I can understand why. But uh, to me, uh, like, if you really don't have that oomph within you in hip-hop music... Like, chances are, I'm not going to listen to you. Like, I'm sorry. I got to keep it real with y'all. And that's the whole point about it. Hip-hop is always, like, being dope with your music. Like, you got to really have that that essence and that oomph within you to for people to rock with your shit. You know what I'm saying? Not these uh, lame-ass casuals that you see nowadays. Because this type of stuff that you um, see with Young Dolph and... And late artists like him, Triple X Tentacion, certain artists that are getting killed and whatnot in certain areas of the hood. These are what I call hood tourists. Because these casual, predominantly white audiences, they love that hood tourist shit. What I mean about that hood tourist shit is just basically, because uh, there's like a example I saw on, um, that we see nowadays on Instagram and Twitter saying that uh such and such was a revolutionary artist i'm some whack new generation artist like uh revolutionary funny punchline lyrics and uh always stick true to himself innovative but creative form and blah 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 whatnot you see these type of posts all the time and that's basically an example for a tourist because these white casual audiences they love that shit they thrive in that because they that's all they want to hear and what they know about because they love to hear that black suffering bullshit. You know, niggas just busting their guns on uh, on the street, on everybody they see, uh, just for fun. Rob every nigga in sight, sell dope to your own people, fucking hoes, money phone, chain laying hoes, sipping lean, all that type of bullshit. That's that black suffering shit that they feed off of. And it generates a lot of profit. For the music industry and these white casual audiences because they want to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? And most of these trap rappers that you hear nowadays, they want to hear that shit. That dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? And less of an art form as it is. Hence the reason why I have a problem with casuals in general. Because they don't even know the aesthetic of hip-hop as a collective like that. Because if they really did, then they would understand exactly what the genre is about. Okay. 
And hence the reason why it's so bad nowadays. Because they feed off of that shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing we gotta address these, um, those new generation rappers nowadays. Because when you start feeding, uh, putting out those types of quality of music to the casual audiences, people gonna look at you different. You know? And that's the reason why majority of the time uh, black people in the hip hop community don't rock with you like that. Like the majority around the world, except for the city of New York, a city I've never been to, by the way, they don't keep it real with themselves. New York, I think, is like the only area or rather the only city or state that obviously the birthplace of hip hop that keeps it real with you. If you're dope, you're dope. If you're whack, fuck out of here. As I've said many, 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 many times in my videos, you got to bring that shit for people to fuck with you. Not only just in certain areas of the country, which is predominantly casual like audiences, but in New York, too, because that's where hip hop lies. You know what I'm saying? And that just basically tells you exactly the type of quality of music that we've been surrounded by. Casual like shit that just basically feed off of that just feed off of the artist's insecurities or whackness just to make a profit. Because at the end of the day, you're gonna come you're gonna go out the same way you come in. The hype will only get you caught up in the moment for so long before it like catches up to you like that. You know what I'm saying? And the thing about the murder business, <laughs> as I hate to put it like that, because that's what's becoming much more common in the hip-hop community nowadays, is like the murder business. The thing about that is that you say you're loyal to the streets, but do they really love you in return? And Young Dolph was another example of that. I touched this up on my uh, Big L video um, like a month or two ago. Basically saying how much like you want how much the streets actually show its true colors in the long run. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand like how you grew up with them. You gained so much knowledge from them because that's exactly what you've known for throughout your whole life. And it basically gives you that like aesthetic to who you are as an individual. At the end of this, but that at the end of the day, does it really give you the same gratitude in return? Does it really render you untouchable? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Because if it did, Big L would still be here. Triple X Tentacion would still be here. Jam Master J would still be here. And of course, obviously, Young Dolph would still be here. You know what I'm saying? Like, is it, and of course, Nipsey Hustle. That's another big prime example. Because we already know how the whole situation with Nipsey also uh, a couple years ago came about. Another prime example. You give your loyalty to the streets because that's all you've known throughout your whole life. But never getting that same shit in return. That stings. And that's like the cold hard reality. They don't love you like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they love. They say they love you when they see you rocking, taking pictures, signing autographs and all that other bullshit. But they don't really fuck with you like that. Because if they did, you'd still be here. You know what I'm saying? And this is why I always encourage, like, you know, us brothers and sisters, of black people in general, like, if you make it to a certain point in life, reaching the higher goals, when you get all this money, when you land a successful job, or you became, like, the top of the uh, art form industry, being, like, uh, art, literature, music, movies, all that shit, once you really made it, into the big leagues, it would be a perfect time for you to get the fuck out of the hood, man. Because it's only going to make shit worse as time goes on, man. And it's not really worth it at all. Hence the reason why I say, like, once you do it, you, you need to leave the hood immediately. Because there's no, like, you know, time limit for when you're going to be, like, around for so long. Because that shit is going to catch up to you real quick. And young Dolph, and young Dolph, unfortunately, just got a cold, hard dose of reality on that one, man. And it's just unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? And this cycle is gonna continue unless uh, these artists learn the hard way, man. It's just sad, dude. Anyways, so I want to touch up later, y'all. <laughs>